Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, August 22nd. And as you can see, I have COVID and a bad case of a sore throat. And I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. I do have this beautiful painting here with me today. By Atkinson Grimshaw. Nightfall down the Thames. I love the full moon on this riverscape. How everything is illumined by it. There is a strange fluidity to moonlight that is like nothing else. It makes the whole world seem like magic. We continue this morning in the Gospel of John. Jesus is continuing to talk about the bread of life and how his flesh and blood is something that we must take into ourselves in order to come to eternal life. And people don't understand. Why do we need to eat his flesh and drink his blood, they think. And he says, I must live in you in order for you to come to me. This great mystery that we call the Eucharist is something that Christians have been confounded by for thousands of years. The Eastern Orthodox are the most mystical about it, and I, I love studying them. I did uh, my thesis on them in college. They believe in this mystical union between the body of the person and the body of Christ that comes to us in the bread and in the wine. This kind of understanding is so physical. Salvation is so physical, and it's not something we earn. It's something we take. The Orthodox just open their mouths. They don't hold out their hands. They just go and open their mouths. The physical body is such a mystery, but it is somehow linked with God, created by God, and Jesus himself had a body, and he gives us this physical thing the simple piece of bread and sip of wine for us to take inside. Just like we took that forbidden fruit that wasn't given, this is freely given. Linking body, mind, and spirit, we consume this wafer and wine and with it, accept the fact that we are saved. It's simply given to us. We don't earn it, but we're transformed by it. It's a mystery, but all I can do is week by week come to the altar with a grateful heart, hold out my hands and wait and give thanks when the bread comes. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask you to help us to better absorb and understand the gift that is the bread and wine that you give us, that is your body and blood. We thank you that you give yourself to us so freely for us to take inside of our bodies and be changed. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ. Bless the dying, the hungry, those who are grieving. Bless those who are lonely, addicted or mentally ill. Bless those who find themselves without a home or family or friends. We ask you to give this earth greater wisdom, Lord. The human race needs to be enlightened. We need to understand how to care for one another on this planet. Give us wisdom, Lord, and bless us on this day to do your will in all that we undertake. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.